I've always been curious about how a plane weighing hundreds of tons can fly. During flight, two main forces are at work. One is thrust and the other is lift. Thrust is provided by the jet engines on both sides of the plane. Lift, on the other hand, is generated by the wings. So how do the wings create lift? Wing design is based on Bernoulli's principle. This principle states that airspeed and pressure are inversely related. Thus, if the airspeed above an object is greater than below it, the pressure below becomes higher than above, generating lift. The question is, how to make the air move faster above? We can design the upper surface of the object to be curved. This shape makes the airflow path longer above than below. As a result, the air moves faster above, lowering the pressure and generating lift. The long wings of a plane use this design effectively. So how does the plane precisely control its position? There are ailerons on the trailing edges of both wings. These control the plane's roll, allowing it to tilt left or right. The elevator on the tail controls pitch, determining the nose's up or down movement. Additionally, the rudder controls yaw, allowing rotation around the vertical axis. The principle is also simple. Adjusting the angle of these parts changes the airflow, affecting pressure. For instance, when the elevator is level, air flows smoothly over it. But if the elevator tilts upward, the tail gets pushed down, lifting the nose. This increases the wing's angle of attack and